He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hey, hello everyone, it's Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, coming to you live and in color from NAB 2017. We are back from our break, 10 second break, at NAB 2017, of course, and we are coming to you from the Las Vegas Convention Center. And I have been doing uh, an interview, a new interview, every 15 minutes since 9 o'clock this morning. Wow. And uh, right now it's a little bit after 1 and we are going strong. No break in the action. Uh, I have to tell you, be honest with you, I'm with one of my favorite people. And uh, we have, uh, we're here with LiveView. And uh, I don't even know where to begin. You have so many products, Claudia, that uh, they're always exciting. And uh, you're one of my favorite people Thank to interview. You. I was just telling Thank Claudia you, a couple minutes ago that... Wow, you're really cool to interview because she always is up on the point and knows the technology and just a fun lady. So, but it's easy when you're dealing with this type of technology. I mean, I don't know about yeah. you. I hope you get some time to take a break and walk the show floor because the technology here is amazing. Yeah. Well, um, it's a lot of you know, fun. Broadcasting tech is interesting. What's happening in online streaming is interesting. And even the show has changed with the drones yeah, it really and VR, has. It really has. Uh, immersive technologies. It's a really interesting place to be. I think this is my fourth or fifth year that I've interviewed Claudia. I can't. I can't remember. Two. Huh? At NAB, it's the second. It's the second yes, one. Yes, okay. Yes. Oh, I've interviewed you prior to that. Oh, I know yeah, I have. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Other show is, yes. So uh, I've been using the Solo actually, and uh, had some phenomenal results with it. And. Uh, the Solo actually is one of the perfect things to use in this type of an environment. Uh, why don't we talk a little bit? I'll let you talk about sure, it. Sure, sure. So yeah, so our Live View Solo unit is essentially the the baby-sized version of what all the major broadcasters use today. Um, but it's geared for really being able to do some very quick, very reliable live online streaming. Especially nowadays where the new online outlet could be your website. Uh, your social media page. Right. Um, you need to get in and out really quickly, but you could be in a place like this where there is massive cellular congestion, massive amounts yeah. of people. Uh, underline uh, the word massive. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, to be able to rely upon just your cell phone to do that video it won't is ridiculous. Work. It won't work. The other but but LiveView has some interesting, uh, we'll call it bonding technology yes. that, that alleviates that congestion that's on your cell phone. Right. Can, can you just talk, I know you're, I'm, yes, I'm I'll do a, I'll throwing do a, a little twist at I'll you. I'll do but a quick, it's t difficult without diagrams, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Uh, in essence, we take <laughs> multiple signals together, and what we do is we aggregate them, so it creates a fat connection. So some of our units have two or three, some of what the broadcasters use in our larger units have up to eight modems, and those are multiple cellular modems, but we also can then take in Wi-Fi, uh, some of our units can take in BGAN. You can go hardwire. And, and what that does is, uh, as you're show, streaming that video live, right. uh, our algorithms dynamically adapt that video bit rate to the available bandwidth. And that's one of the core of your technologies. It's that yes. ability to, to aggregate and to actually intelligently make the decision as to what cellular carrier at this second in time. It's actually even easier than that. It's not deciding which one. It's it's creating them and putting them into one. So if one drops out, you still have the same fat connection. So it's not redirecting and picking. But and it's all automatic. It's, it's, it's all yeah, automatically that's what I'm happening, and it's totally right. transparent. To it the knows user. what to do intuitively, correct, if you will. Correct, yeah, yeah it's, that's what makes it work. It's so, really cool. And then, and then what we just do is make different types of delivery mechanisms for that technology. So for solo. Um, that's definitely done for workflow for someone who wants to take that single stream and go straight online. For our latest product that we unveiled here, we actually unveiled it last year, the LU600. It was an HEVC or H.265 ready uh, unit that has a lot of other features uh, and benefits. Now today here we're showing our HEVC version of that. And that is definitely transforming what the major television broadcasters are able to do both from a video quality to compressing that data right. down now. Right. So now you have that cellular bonding, but now you can get, you can, you're using less data with that uh, encoding technology, um, as well as a variety of other features, including getting 4K quality. I mean, there's a lot of different aspects that are happening with 
what is a core bonding technology, but now encased in a highly functional, highly dynamic encoding unit, portable now unit. Now that device was just announced here? Yes, yes, Okay, yes. and what's the price point on that? So an HEVC version is a $22,000 piece of equipment, plus or minus change. Um, <laughs> but, uh, and then that's, and that's the basic price point. We have different leasing options and different uh, packages available, including data solutions for that, because with that unit, you also have a data bridge functionality, so you can actually use it to transfer the large video files right. from remote locations. Um, especially also, uh, there's uh, unique rental packages because you'll have people that'll do it for a specific unique event where they're actually doing at-home production. So here, you're, these guys are producing it all right here. You can't right. see, but oh, you can see behind the scenes when they fan. It's all right here. A lot of cases now, especially in sporting events, they're sending multiple cameras and multiple crews around, and then they are actually now wirelessly transmitting that video live right. to the at-home studio. So there could be spring training in Florida going back to the studio in Boston, and that's where they're switching between the different camera angles, putting the graphics on, and then going live for the audiences at home to watch. You know I'm from Boston. Yes, yeah, so Nesson, who covers a lot of the Boston teams, yeah. is one of our customers. Oh, is that right? I didn't that. know that. Yes, yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. <laughs> you have yeah. some very prominent customers, actually, the people who are using yeah. live. You want to tell them? Name a couple. Go ahead. Oh, Dro well, just I drop a couple should names. Should we just turn the TV on? So yeah, everyone from CBS, NBC, Fox, all the big guys, um, but also a lot of the sports networks, um, a lot of cable stations, but of course also the big online players now. So the typical on-demand television companies are now right. getting into not just on-demand streaming, but live video streaming. Well, I think so. well, certainly as you walk around here, I think uh, you know. Years ago, you didn't see that many, you know, people streaming. But now, I think it, it, literally yeah. almost everybody. I think is. we could probably you probably watch the audience go by, and everyone's got their cameras yeah, out exactly, doing exactly. something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of them have the little solo devices attached to them. Well, and what that does now is, you know, the phones are great. The camera quality on phones are awesome, but you're limited in the bandwidth with that. But also, let's be real. You know, if you're going online, your brand is is you. So. Gone are the days where you really want your audience to see a really fuzzy or pixelated yeah, They used video. to expect that and live with that. Now, now, today, no, that's gone. They expect the same thing that they're going to yeah. see when they flip on the television. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. So. A lot of that wasn't necessarily their fault. It was just the technology at the time. But through Correct. companies uh, developing newer and greater, you know, the latest and greatest technologies like Live, you, you're, the expectation is, is excellence. And that's that's what you guys so have always exactly. delivered, really. And, you know, it used to be very expensive game, very expensive camera equipment, very expensive backpack units. And now the technology has gotten more portable. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And now you can and plug smaller. it into a basic DSLR. Yeah. And at least now you're getting a better quality image, sound, lighting, yeah. than you ever can on a, on a phone running around. A absolutely. You know, the other thing I, I, I like to point out to people, and I, I get a lot of questions, you know, what do you use to stream? What do you use to stream? And, I, you know, the solo box, it, it, it just works, but it's portable. Yeah. It's small, it works on battery, exactly. and uh, I, I just love that device. Yeah. And when you're here, there is so much RF energy, there is, you just bombarded. And you don't stand a prayer's chance in hell, to be honest about it, to get out. Right. You just can't do it unless you have a hard wire. Plus and we're encased in concrete and steel right now. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's where the LiveU products come in, that that's what they're for. That's yeah, what so they're now for. We're seeing it being used so that for drones to do live streaming from drones, we're seeing it used for basic running around, run and gun type activity. But in essence, it's also uh, like an augment to the normal broadcast, right. so that you can do your normal broadcast. But then you also have now this portable ability to go run around and bring right. in additional great information for your audiences at home. Now this morning uh, I was live and I was getting in a, a couple of questions from people. I, it was hard kind of doing the interviews. It's hard and to I, do it all yourself. Yeah, I've and, done and, it. It's and, not yeah, easy. And, and, yeah. and I'm watching my iPad and people are actually you know tweeting and are asking in questions and uh, I had two or three questions uh, asking what what the ideal rig would be to, to stream something you know using professional equipment but yet not not breaking the bank and I have to tell you uh, I don't know, about 9 o'clock, 9.30 this morning, we had the uh, people in from Panasonic with the Lumix camera, and they had that new G5 uh, SLR camera. I've used it, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, thinking about it, uh, and I didn't have time to answer the, to type an answer, you know, online, because, again, I'm interviewing, but 
Claudia and I go way back, so uh, we're kind of comfortable with each other. But I'll tell you that that G5 camera attached to a solo box. That's honestly, I, I did a video before I went out to South by Southwest just to show people what I was bringing on the plane with me. Because well, I was a one woman band. Right. I was out there to do some of our own live streams. Right, right, right. So I needed to have a, a camera that I could use. Yes. Um, but that would look good. Don't, uh, don't let this lady. Solo, and my solo unit. But you're absolutely right. To have to set up your stream yourself. Okay, the solo unit makes that super easy. So For I have sure. To set up the camera, put it on a little tabletop tripod, and find a cute backdrop. Okay. I would have loved to have been able to actually interact on our Facebook page with people, <laughs> yeah. but it is very difficult when it's just yourself. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I showed everybody, I said, this is my Rode microphone that I'm bringing. This is the light I'm bringing so that I, if it's if it, it poured the first couple days at South by, so it was right. a nightmare for lighting. Um, but so that I, if I'm doing this stream in this big, crazy environment on the streets of Austin, right. I wanted to make sure people could hear me. I had my DSLR. I was using a Canon for that one. Okay. Um, but essentially, I threw it all out there, and the entire contents, including the solo unit and the monthly cloud fee for the streaming, right. was it's around thirty-two hundred dollars, which is amazing to think. Yeah, I, a, and it all fit in one carry. Yeah, five years ago, you. I mean, I could run around yeah, town in. Yeah, five years ago, it would amazing. be a dream. It'd be a dream. But it's, it's, it is. We also get the same question too. Well, this is great. I have this unit. What camera should I use? What are some things I should be thinking about? Yeah. I mean, I'll even tell you since we're talking about it right now, one of the biggest is to make sure that your camera can output the audio and the video on the same. Yeah, HDMI I was just going to ask you, what do you, what did you use for audio? Yeah. Did you use an external mic or Zoom, so or did you? Ex, I had an external mic. Uh, the mic. Um, put the mounted in the cold shoe, and it went in. Okay. It was so you had in. a little shotgun yes, mic. Correct. Okay. Right. Um, but the idea is, I needed to make sure whatever camera I picked up had uh, audio and video on that HDMI because you're taking that right. single stream into the right. encoder into, right. in order to stream. The other is, and this is kind of interesting. A lot of the DSLRs, because they're not video production Correct. cameras. That's why I like that GS5. Yeah, that is a nice camera. Yeah. But you do just have to make sure that you can turn the camera controls off. And the camera controls are what you see in that little yeah, viewfinder. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of them that you can't. <laughs> Absolutely. So when you when you record a video, it doesn't right. show up. Right, you're seeing but that. But if you're live streaming, it's streaming what's on there. So your live stream will actually have the white balance and the stop and start yeah, button. Yeah, so you don't want that on Just a tip there. and trick if you're looking to put your own kids yeah, together. And the thing yeah. is, if that happens, yeah, I can just turn it off. I'm like, whoa, where, how did I turn that off? It is, yeah. It drives yeah. you nuts. I've run into it before, and they're like, your Facebook yeah. looks great, but we can see the camera controls. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I, again, for those, I don't know, I had three or four people ask me when I was uh, interviewing live, I just saw it come up, uh, what system do they want to use for, for the streaming live? And I, I'll tell you, at least based on what I've seen today, I, I, I like that Lumix camera, I like that G5. It, it's affordable, and I'll tell you, you're not gonna you're not gonna find anything better than the LiveView Solo unit. You're just you're just not. So at a reasonable price point, uh, you're in business. You're in business, and it's not just in business. You're gonna have something that can rival that's reliable. The other absolutely uh, other broadcasters that are out there. Well, let, let's just touch on just briefly, and I know I know you're a busy lady. I know okay. just just briefly, can we just talk talk about the live view interface? Because that yeah. that to me is uh that, that's where the pedal hits the metal. Yeah. That that's where you guys shine to make it easy exactly. and and So we and have functional. I mean we have two workflows for. Most of our product line, it goes through a product called LiveView Central, which right. is the enterprise management platform. Uh, these are for people who have multiple units. They can geolocate where they are. They can sure. check bandwidth. The actual person in the production studio can actually control and take over the unit. Um, for Solo, we realized not everybody's got a broadcast engineering degree. I don't. Um, but uh, we needed to have that same ease of use that people are used to when using an app. Right. So we took the same, we said, forget LiveView Central, let's make this a simple web-based portal so that from a phone, an iPad, or a computer, right. I'm not lugging my laptop around when I'm doing remote live right. streams. That's the last thing you want to do. So from there, what it is is I, my unit's on, and it's online. I can go into the portal and log in, and then from that solo portal, I actually have one-touch integration to either Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. We have a variety of other partners that do syndication so that I don't need to also then log into my Facebook account and right. create an event. I actually can do it all direct. And then either from that, whether it's on my iPhone or not, I can now hit start and stop, right. or from the unit itself. And the beauty part is, is I have the same benefits of if I was doing a Facebook event, in that portal, I can title it, I can tag it, I can 
do a right. branded all the functionality content if I built want in, to. The options and it's there. all right there. And then once it's linked, right. all I have to do is figure out where I'm shooting and start talking and hit start. The yeah. other thing that uh, I, I will mention is that, uh, and this is a, again, a, a lot of you, a lot of you people who watch the Gadget Professor show, some of you are doing much larger broadcasts than I am. I know a lot of a lot of uh, the people who watch this show uh, are involved with uh, House of Warships. Yes. Uh, a lot of uh, colleges and schools uh, are, are, are doing this, and you have multiple cameras, multiple things. But uh, the tech support yeah. is absolutely. Have you called our tech support? Absolutely. Oh, yes. That's good to know. Yes. Don't let that out. Shh. No, but yes, even I, even I get confused. Respond. No, but this but, is a valid. But uh, really, yeah, the, a real uh, testimonial, then. the tech yeah. support, they, they can't, they, they, they just don't say blah, 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 goodbye. They walk you through it, and what I thought was extraordinary, is that they waited until I realized what it is that I needed to do, and and said, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it, that's it, that. That, I'm going to let them know. Okay, but that, good to let the team know that is something above and beyond the call yeah. of duty. And I haven't called that many times, but the two or three times that I have, I was in a pinch and I just didn't know how to do yeah. something. Well, I will tell you something. That's normally what happens. It's not a question of how does this work or it's not working. Yeah. It's when you're on site and about to go live. Yes. And then there's that what's going on. And that happens with any production, any technology. There's always going to be that Right, moment. but the fact that and someone's there, the uh, yeah, it, yeah. They're, they're really well, yeah. really well trained. Well, in this case too, it's less having to worry about doing technical support on the unit because the unit works. Right. It really is somebody who's maybe not familiar with having set up their own live stream themselves or they're on site and they, the cool thing about, I keep picking up my little toys. <laughs> it's not the unit. This is a little mini version of what we're giving away at the show. But what's great on the actual unit itself is you do have a display, and people may not have actually gone through that to say, oh, I can see how much bandwidth I have. Oh, I can connect to Wi-Fi. And it's simple things like that that's great to go online and do it when you're home at, and have time, but when you're on site, to be yeah, able to pick you up know, a phone. The other thing is you, the show's got to go on. It, it's, it's good to yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't want to know what I forgot. Just, I need it to work. Yeah. I need it to work now, especially, yeah, you know, exactly. when you're when you're going live. And uh, that's that's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why you know I prefer and I actually do use Live View. I can use whatever I want. I have most of the, most of the companies that I know are very happy to give me equipment and let me use it. But I I just love working with you guys well, and I love your. Next year we're gonna do some stuff where you start running around the hall with the solar unit. Yeah. You can come to my booth and do it. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> we'll definitely do that. Excellent. Claudia, you're always a pleasure. Thank I can't you. thank you enough. This I know you're real busy, so. Uh, thank you so much for having me again. It's a again. pleasure seeing it's good you. talking to everybody again. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Claudia. We'll be right back. This is Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. We'll be right back after this station identification. <laughs>